Chapter 3, Probability Topics Introduction Chapter 3 introduces the fundamental concepts and terminology of probability. It covers topics such as understanding probability terminology, determining if events are mutually exclusive or independent, calculating probabilities using addition and multiplication rules, constructing and interpreting contingency tables, Venn diagrams, and tree diagrams. The chapter also discusses the concept of probability and its application in decision-making. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you should be able to 1. Understand and use probability terminology 2. Determine if events are mutually exclusive or independent 3. Calculate probabilities using addition and multiplication rules 4. Construct and interpret contingency tables, Venn diagrams, and tree diagrams 5. Apply probability concepts in decision-making. Key points. Probability is a measure of the likelihood of an event occurring. The sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. Events are subsets of the sample space. Two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. Two events are independent if the occurrence of one event does not affect the probability of the other event. The addition rule states, that the probability of the union of two events is equal to the sum of their individual probabilities minus the probability of their intersection. The multiplication rule states that the probability of the intersection of two independent events is equal to the product of their individual probabilities. Contingency tables, Venn diagrams, and tree diagrams are graphical tools used to represent and analyze probabilities. Conditional probability is the probability of an event given that another event has occurred. The complement of an event is the set of all outcomes that are not in the event. Real-world application. Probability is widely used in various real-world applications, such as weather forecasting. Meteorologists use probability to predict the likelihood of different weather conditions, such as rain, snow, or sunshine. Risk assessment. Insurance companies use probability to assess the likelihood of certain events, such as car accidents or property damage, to determine insurance premiums. Medical diagnosis. Doctors use probability to assess the likelihood of certain diseases or conditions based on symptoms and test results. Financial investments. Investors use probability to assess the likelihood of different investment outcomes and make informed decisions. Conclusion. Chapter 3 provides a comprehensive introduction to probability topics. By understanding and applying the concepts and techniques covered in this chapter, you will be able to analyze and calculate probabilities, determine the independence or mutual exclusivity of events, and use probability in decision-making. Probability is a powerful tool that has wide-ranging applications in various fields, from weather forecasting to finance. By mastering the concepts and techniques presented in this chapter, you will develop a solid foundation in probability theory and its practical applications. Thank <laughs> you.